gonna flow across the land. There once was a time when things like pollution, overpopulation, even income taxes, were unknown to most people. Our natural riches seemed inexhaustible. There was more elbow room, and life was a lot more fun. Load up the vittles, pickles, and ham, melons, and cherry pie. Now, Reader's Digest, together with United Artists and Arthur P. Jacobs, invites you and your family to go back to those golden days as we proudly present Tom Sawyer. Two coats. Oh, All of it. I mean, when's the last time you could slosh your block to full of wash on a mile of fence? Look at him smiling and having a time and all at my expense. Satisfaction. Oh, how good you feel when your shoulders to the wheel. The beloved classic comes to life once more as this glorious musical adaptation comes to the screen. Well, a man's got to be what he's born to be, so just sit back and wait. Ever been in a graveyard at midnight? Plenty scary. I wouldn't be scared. Be it soon or late, he'll be small or great. Tom's home. Yeah, yeah man's gotta be what he's born to be, so just sit back and wait. No! Becky, come on! I'm gonna kill you, Tom Sawyer! Free booting, free booting, kicking up a feet in the sand. Now, Tom, you come up here and tell us exactly what you saw. Doc Robinson fetched up the shovel to shield himself. He accidentally hit Muff on the head and knocked him out cold. When Engine Joe picked up a big rock and knocked Doc Robinson down into the grave, I heard the Doc scream. <laughs> You and your family will share all the warmth, the humor, the adventure, and the characters that only Mark Twain could have created. You'll meet Huckleberry Finn, Aunt Polly, <coughs> Muff Potter, Becky Thatcher, and of course, Tom. And you'll understand why Reader's Digest chose to make Tom Sawyer its first feature presentation.